So this is the Structural Pest Control Training Center. The, uh, the training center here was built in 1998 uh, to serve the pest control industry in helping them, helping guide them through principles of termite construction. So structure has uh, most components of a uh, of that you might find in a typical Georgia home. Most construction elements you might find in a typical Georgia home. And uh, what we do is we bring them here about four to six times a year. And uh, it's mainly geared towards a beginning technician, uh, but we have uh, uh, folks that have been in the industry 20, 25 years also get benefit from, from coming to the workshops. We show them how to uh, treat a home for termites so that uh, they're not actually learning when they come out to, to somebody's house. So uh, a lot of it is reinforcement. They've been trained at their company, but they come here and they uh, they get an idea of that we teach the general principles on on how to treat a home for termites, whether you're treating in the soil or, or, or treating in a wall or, or something of that sort. So uh, we teach them principles of termite biology uh, and control in the classroom for an entire day and then we come out to the training center. What these guys are doing is measuring uh, the area and uh, coming up with the formula for how to treat those areas uh, as far as how many gallons per linear foot it takes. And so we bring our inspectors down here. It's the perfect class for new people because it would take you many years of crawling houses and treating houses to be able to see as many different types of construction as there are here. Go over it on a slide presentation and see how accurate they are as far as what they treat. And it's kind of a give and take session which always works out really well. You gonna drill that block? No. You gonna trench it? Yes. yes. Alright. That's all you gonna do is trench it. Right. It's easier to handle one of these other than a, the smaller drill. Smaller drills are used for drilling block boards. Anybody what we're looking for while we're there, we first want to make sure that you are a registered technician, registered or certified. Secondly, we're going to make sure that you've got all the proper equipment on that truck to protect you in the event of something uh, something bad happening. So, and thirdly, make sure you understand how to use it. Chemical resistant shoes, long sleeves, goggles, respirator, possibly a dust mask, and long pants. And long pants. This whole box will fill up, and it doesn't matter if it's South Georgia sand or if it's North Georgia clay. The whole box fills up, and it's it's like it's perfect to spread of chemical as you can possibly get. See, he's going to shoot that thing. It's coming all the way across the box to this other side. Yeah, you, you're totally saturating your wall lines and your corners, which is absolutely perfect. Most companies now have a foam machine, you know, especially for uh, unique situations where they just can't seem to get control, and that's that ten generally tends to be the answer to the problem. Just totally fill that crack up the pesticide. That's where you kill termites right there. That's it. As long as he's doing that, <laughs> it, it, that foam's going down and it's going up and it'll go all the way up the inside of that block wall until it hits the very top. Oh, incredible. It's just one-stop shopping for understanding construction. If I had this opportunity 30 years ago, uh, I would certainly have understood a whole lot more for those first uh, 25 years of this business. Uh, it's, it's a great mix of the training you get, the, the guys, that the, the scientists behind all this, and at the same time we get the regulators who get to come in and be a part of this. It's absolutely great for new folks and for old timers like myself that's been in this. Again, I wish I had this opportunity to do this years ago, no doubt.